Relevance is key. Is your brand relevant? Is it compelling to what consumers are looking for today? And if there's a gap, uh, we can help. Hi, I'm Tim Leon with Guy Leon Marketing Communications, talking to you today about brand refreshes. You know, I read an interesting statistic uh, from the Dentsu 2020 Marketing Research Survey that talked about the top things on CMOs' minds uh, throughout this year and going into next year. And surprisingly, in the top three was CMOs are concerned about aligning their brand with the ever-changing consumer sentiment and behaviors that are occurring in the marketplace. Um, as you well know, the last 18 months have been a roller coaster for brands and consumers. And we've seen some shifts in consumer behaviors that have impacted brands. The question mark CMOs have is which of these behaviors are permanent and which of these behaviors may, you know, kind of go back to the norm before COVID. Um, but either way, it's something that's on their minds. Guy Leon uh, has responded and we've developed a process called dynamic branding to help brands and CMOs look at how well their brand is connecting with consumers today because consumer preferences have changed. And you know, these changes in brands and what really triggers a brand refresh can be, can be multiple things. I mean, for sure, what I just talked about, changing consumer behavior and attitude toward your brand, it could be a competitive threat. A new brand that is coming to your marketplace that has a value prop that is maybe luring some of your customers away. Changes in leadership. We've seen a lot of changes over the last year with some of our clients uh, in the organization. And when you get new leadership changes, that can impact the vision and what they expect the brand roadmap to look like. And again, as a CMO, uh, you are looking to kind of respond. Um, those are just a few examples. Uh, we're working on a, a client now that came to us and basically just said, our brand looks outdated. Our salespeople, our customers are saying the packaging is just tired um, and they're in a marketplace where there's a lot of change. So they come to us and said, help us find a look and a feel and a message that resonates and is relevant with brands today. Relevance is key. And I would just tell you as a, uh, director of marketing or CMO, is your brand relevant? Is it compelling to what consumers are looking for today? And if there's a gap, uh, we can help. And our dynamic branding process allows us to identify that gap and to find a brand message and a brand promise and a brand look that will connect and bring, fill that gap so that you're hitting on all cylinders with your customers. There is tons of research out there also regarding uh, consumers' desire to see the human side of brands. And I think there's a misnomer that that's just consumer high-profile brands. I think that's all brands, business-to-business -business brands, service brands, consumer brands. Customers want brands to understand their plights, their struggles, their challenges. There's no doubt there are supply chain issues across the world. There are uh, pandemic outbreaks. There are customers that are pent up and not sure what to do. They're afraid to get into a market. They're afraid to spend money. But all of those things have to be addressed and as a brand what can you do to demonstrate true empathy and action to help these customers of your, yours through a very, very tough time? We can help you do that. If you'd like to have any information about the dynamic branding process, I just want to talk about 
your challenges. There's information at the end of this video with my email. Please reach out. I would love, love, love to hear from you and see if there's any way we can help you. Thanks.